My victory was part of the act. one of the galleries. You should find a mural of the gods there. Be on guard, though. A good bandit always is, right? Now, I don't want to sound like I'm complaining, but I don't see any kind of mural around here. What's the story? How disappointing. This is certainly the spot, but it seems that you'll have to activate the mural before we can view it. The device is missing a key component. You need certain ancient artifacts, known as tablets, if you found them. We already have. You mean the ones from the shrines, right? We picked those up already. Oh yeah, that's right. And so this is where they were meant to be used. Saved us some trouble. All right then, impress me. We used to have this old rhyme, you know. Come, pity poor Etro, she was left all alone. Her blood pouring forth in chaos to atone. Queen of nothing, goddess of death, so let her be known. And then Lindsay, in his wisdom, used the blood that flowed from Etro to give birth to the first humans. Yeah, so we could do his dirty work. Among my people, Lindsay was known as a trickster, never to be trusted. Though, in the end, even our own god was no different. Pulse used us and threw us away all the same. Yeah, I think we've all learned not to trust the gods. At least it gave me the chance to meet you all. But then, after hundreds more years in Crystal, we wake up again. And for what? So Vanil can go mad listening to the cries of the dead? The gods want to make us pawns, but Vanille and me... We're done playing their games. It needs to stop. Vanille and Fang. They once supported Cocoon in their crystal sleep, frozen forever in time. But why did they awake now, at the end of everything? What purpose could God have in doing such a thing? What sort of plan does he have up his sleeve? That's a piece of a crux, right? What is this? All we get is some rubbish. Really? It's no rubbish. It's the crux to the sacred gate. Or at least one piece of it. All you have to do is gather all the pieces and put them together. So, two more to go, right? Three seems to be our favorite number. Three murals, three shrines, and now three crux pieces. You've got all the tablets, right? Go around to each of the galleries. You should be able to see all three murals now. Of course, we weren't just sleeping away our days in that pillar. Hardly. We could feel what was going on in the world. It all seemed like some sort of pain. on you. It's just a fleeting dream. We saw you disappear. We also saw your sister head out in the dream. Eventually, we even got to see the world fall apart and all time stop. You couldn't imagine how we felt while we just watched as the world slowly crumbled apart, unable to do a damn thing. <sighs> like a nightmare you couldn't wake up from.
you got this? It's just a fleeting dream. Holding up half the world when we were in that room. We saved humanity. Not like it's something I can brag about, though. It wasn't heroic at all. It was more like atonement for all we've done wrong before. No, not even that. There's no amount of atonement that will ever make right all the deaths we caused, all the lives that were destroyed. I know Vanille worries about that, too. I'd say this is a shortcut out of the ruins. Good to know if you need to get back to the desert. Since you went to the trouble of unsealing the door, why don't you follow the path and see exactly where it leads? Lightning, you feeling this? The air's different in here. 
I think we're close. We have to be. Cold atmosphere. Together, we can't lose. See the second mural. I paid for this show, and I want to get my money's worth. Hey, Lightning. What do you make of this, then? It's the story of the gods. Or rather, the story of us. It shows how humanity was born from blood spilled by the goddess Etro. But we weren't made to live forever like this. We were put on the world to serve the gods, do their bidding, and then die. But then the chaos broke through and changed the rules. Everything went pear-shaped and suddenly it's like dying became an option. We became immortal. Well, that's how it felt at first. You stopped aging the moment the chaos came, but misfortune and disease could still kill you. And we don't multiply and fill the land anymore. No one's been born in centuries. You know, I always thought that death wasn't the end of us. Like our souls wouldn't disappear with our last breaths. They'd never really die. They'd come back. That's why I was never afraid to die for something I believed in. But now, I don't know. Dying feels like the end of the line. Like there's no hope of being reborn. Our souls will just get lost in the chaos. Forever. No second chances. I guess that's what Vanille wants to put a stop to. She figures this is her chance to save those lost souls. Some gear is something moved. It looks to me like another sealed path has been opened. Let's go ahead and check it out. The souls of the dead, crying out in their despair. No one else can see or hear them, so it's hard to appreciate what that would feel like. Do you think that Vanille is hearing the wishes of the dead? Is she hearing all of their regrets and desires? We got the second piece. You don't have to tell me. I'm more than ready to get that door open and get the clavis. You've got all the tablets, right? Go around to each of the galleries. You should be able to see all three murals now. Perfect. 
for the desert. The last mural, huh? And this'll give us the key we need to open the sacred gate. And we can finally reach the clevis. Huh? <gasps> if it isn't the man himself, the Order's idol, Benevelza, god of light. Death defiles the soul. Let salvation purify you. So the dead are unclean, is that what they think? And when Vanille performs the soul song, those bastards are going to make everything neat and tidy again. What do you mean? Don't you know? It's the ceremony that the Order's got planned. It's the reason they want the Holy Clevis. So Vanille can do their dirty work. Thing is, she's the only one who can hear the dead. And the Clavis can draw the souls of the dead. Isn't that how it goes? So, what does the ceremony do? More than just summon the dead, I take it? If you believe the Order, it's all putting the dead to rest and providing a salve for their tortured souls. That was enough for Vanille. Hook, line, and sinker. She says that she has to go through with the ceremony. She wants to atone for the past. So it's what Vanille wants, this ceremony. But even knowing that, you have no intention of helping the Order? <laughs> Not in this lifetime. The Order wishes for the Soul Song to be performed, a rite that they claim will purify the souls of the dead. If it... Right, this should complete the crux. Let's try it on the sacred gate. Come on, the clevis waits. The completed crux should open the sacred gate. You've almost made it to the holy clavis itself. But be careful. The order has mobilized its seculars. They may be on your heels. They want the Clavis as much as you do. If we get this open, we'll be face to face with the Clavis at last. And who knows what else? I wouldn't be letting your guard down just yet. <laughs> like I need reminding. How long do you think I've been out here in the desert? up a huge energy source from within the sacred gate. It's just like Fang said, the clavis lies before you. It's close. It may have further protections though. Be careful out there, Light. Yeah, we've gone and done it. No way to go but forward now. What's wrong? Nothing. Let's do this.
So that's the Holy Clavis. The magic box that'll bring together all the souls of the dead. Damn! Can you feel that? It's like some kind of force pushing down on my chest. There's no question. That artifact is definitely emitting powerful energy. No human could have made this. Not without divine help. Either that or the gods themselves made it. Hope, fill us in. What's happening? It's the Seculars! They're close, and they're armed. I'm sorry, they must have been hiding in the chaos. It's fine, forget about it. Fang, it looks like Seculars have sorry already- Sorry about this, Vanille! Fang! What are you doing? This is what you've been looking for! I'm not letting anyone else have it. If Vanille uses this damn thing, she'll die. What do you mean? Damn this thing! It's a bloody curse! Yeah, purify the dead, put them to their eternal rest. All it'll take is the life of a saint. Vanille is dead set on going through with it. She'll martyr herself to the past and then... <gasps> you bastards want to take it from me? <gasps> no! You have done an admirable job. The Sacred One will doubtless be pleased. Allow us to thank you on her behalf. <clears throat> Sacred one, but you're the ones who want her to die. That ceremony is not going to happen. Hear this, heathen. You insult the order of salvation, and in doing so, you blaspheme our almighty God. God's judgment be upon you. May you repent with your death. Get your hands on the clevis over my dead body. So light, you want to lend me a hand? <sighs> you're asking now. Let's do it, Fang. Stick together 